message today. Totally. Hey. Hello. We have Allison and Blake here. We are the Winos and Onesies. We are. Woo! You see that right there? That's some wine. This is actually Prosecco, but it's wine, yes. Well, you guys are here today because you wanted to pair some delicious food with some wine. Yes. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna make a ceviche. So you guys bring the wines or the Prosecco that goes well with ceviche. And not only do we have our Prosecco today, but we have an exciting treat for you later as well. We thought in celebration of you, Gigi, uh, and being on the in show. In honor of being here. In honor of being here, we'd start with a little bubble because, you know, why not? Let's get this party started. And then we'll move on to the perfect pairing for the actual. For the entree. For the entree. We'll, yes. we'll pair specifically for this. So this is, this is called Secco Italian Bubbles. This comes from a vintner named Charles Smith and his wife, Ginevra. So when you're married to a winemaker like Charles Smith, who's the guy behind the Vintner Winery, Kung Fu Girl Riesling, um, or Velvet Devil Murillo, perhaps. I like his name. Right? Yeah. Right? I'm just sitting here like, okay, taking it all in. <laughs> I should write some notes. Right. Yeah. Where, where's your notepad? So this is what we're going to be free partying with. Free gaming. You do that. Yes. Why don't you oh. tell everyone a little bit more about oh, the wine YouTube channel? Blake, tell everyone about our fabulous <laughs> Winos and Onesies channel. Yes, so we as the Winos and Onesies definitely love to explore wine culture and really bring to our viewers all kinds of information, hit, hit you with a little wine education. Wine education? Oh right. man, you need to freaking coin that term. <laughs> Just it's saying. on its way. Yes, hit you with the wine education through all sorts of uh, kind of beginner knowledge. You know, we we are kind of enthusiasts at the beginning stage of things too, and we want to bring on information to everybody through lightheartedness and humor and some delicious things to try. This right here. I'll cheers to that, Blake. Hello. <laughs> so what you're seeing in this glass actually is this is a blend, a prosecco blend. So this is 60% of the Galera grape, which is the actual prosecco grape, and 40% Pinot Noir. So that's why you're getting this um, lovely pink color, making it the rosé. Yeah, it's beautiful. I can smell lovely. it, and it smells. And like the bottle's drunk. drunk. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It smells like grill. Mm, it smells like, <laughs> like JJ Weiss. <laughs> well, ladies, I think that you know we should enjoy this and start the preparation of the ceviche. Let's, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Put your glasses down, and we have to get cooking. Okay. Okay. As tough as that is. Roger that, Captain. <laughs> Roger that. Okay, so this ceviche today is going to include scallops and Dover salt lime juice. Some olive oil, some bell peppers, some onions, and a little cilantro, salt and pepper Ooh. to top it off, and then it's gonna go in our faces. So ladies, I'm gonna give you guys the task of actually squeezing Squeeze. the lime. Okay. Right. Because it's not an green. Easy, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can take that, but I was gonna say it's not an easy task, and I wanted to give you guys something hard to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm gonna do is roll up my sleeves, because I don't wanna get my one wheel a little messy no, here. Yeah. That would and be a travesty. I know, and I'm gonna take the Dover sole I have Ooh. right here. It's Look at that beauty. Ooh. And I'm gonna stick it on the bottom of my very classy, classy dish I have right here. <laughs> what I might do first though is cut them into chunks because that way it can marinate quicker. As you guys squeeze that, I am now going to cut up um, some tomato. I have a lot. Tomato. Some tomato. A lot of tomatoes. Here. Lots of tomato. That I'm going to cut up and put in this deliciousness. Now I'm having fun memories. Oh dear, it's time to cry. Oh, time to oh, cry. No. tip about chopping up onions, I heard this a long time ago. I'm not quite sure if it works. It doesn't. But worth it, oh, it, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. GG knows. I have um, no idea. Is that uh, onions typically make you cry when being cut due yes. to the, the vapors and the potency of it. But um, they say that if you're wearing glasses, oh, it helps. It helps to shield the. Well, I then maybe you the should be. Fume. You both should be. I know. Chopping these because okay. I don't wear glasses. Trid lime duty. You can chop it as finely as you want, as chunky as you want. I personally like it chunky. I don't care what you guys think. I'm doing what I want. And it is your show, Gigi. It's your there. show. It's your show. We are long to <laughs> I am cutting up a red bell pepper and an orange bell pepper because it's going to be one really, really, really pretty dish. Yes, it is. I'm it's already so colorful. I'm just doing it for the colors. Now, one more lime and then we're done. Okay. We need all the limes in the world to cook through the fish. Well, look at this beautiful rainbow we have That's here. It looks so beautiful. good. Yes. So I'm going to drizzle olive oil on top, like so. So I'm mm. going to say that it's about two to three tablespoons. And then we are going to get a little bit of salt up in here. I'm also going to put some black pepper in it. So here we have our beautiful mixture. It looks great. But guess what? It's missing. It's <gasps> missing something green. Yes, it's we missing do. the cilantro. Okay. All right, so I got the cilantro here. We're going to chop it up real nicely. We're going to use all of it because 
cilantro is really good. Did you guys know that it actually has detoxifying properties? You know? I did not. I accept that too. Yeah, but I, I like, like it. Heavy metal detoxifying properties. How, how, much, that? how much you need to eat for that? <laughs> well, this bunch right here. <laughs> <laughs> now everything is coated to perfection in this bowl, but ladies, I have some bad news. Uh oh. Or actually, it could be really good news. Probably. What is it? Tell us this more. has to marinate for four hours. Four hours. What are we gonna do in that time? I was about to ask you guys the same question. It we is have a, an idea of we, what we can we, do. We do for live those four in the wonderful world of winos. We so. do. It's, well, I think we know what we're doing now. <laughs> I think we're gonna get a little tipsy. Yeah. We need to finish off this uh, this Italian psycho bubble. I have a feeling that can easily be done. Okay. There All right. Well, we accept the challenge, Gigi. Let's oh, get on it. Let's do it. Okay. We'll see you in about four hours. <laughs> Today. We are. We chose this Veramonte Sauvignon Blanc specifically for the ceviche because when you make something with such high acid, there's a lot of lines in that, you need something that's going to match it. And this is actually fermented in stainless steel, so there's not going to be any oak in it. It's not going to taste oaky, so it's not going to contradict with the fish or the lime or any of that. Taste it. Oh, you drink it. That's right. good because there's, there's none in that. There's none. Um, yeah, just pure, light, light, fruity essence, really. Yeah, and you, you do want to pay attention to that because you want a wine that's really going to be able to sort of match how much yeah. acid is in is in the dish. Oh, well, it's been four hours, everyone. So that means the ceviche is marinated. And we are going to dig in. These ladies brought chips that I do not approve of. So I'm going to just use a fork. But they're allowed to use their chips if they want to. Dig yeah. in, and I will dig in when you guys are done taking your bites. Because nice. I really want you guys to try it. Mm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Delicious. All yeah, right. my bite had a lot of pepper on it, too, which is oh. good. I like that. Oh, oh, I'm so glad this worked out. Mm -hmm. This is perfect with it. Okay. Is it delicious? See? These two ladies know what they're talking about, by the way. You need we to know. check out their YouTube channel like ASAP. <laughs> Winos and onesies, we are yeah. here for you. Hitting you Do with it. the wine jucation. Wine jucating you. Wine jucating, that's such a great word. Like you like it? I love it. I love it. Love it! Ladies, thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad you guys like my dish. Love and it. I don't even have any more words because I just kind of want to keep eating it. I don't know about you guys. It is super delicious. Well, thank you so much, Gigi. We loved being here today. It was I so know. good. It was such a great time. So we're on Twitter at Winos in Onesies. We're on YouTube. You can search for Winos in Onesies. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on, guys. Subscribe. subscribe. We love it. <laughs> All right, bye. Ciao. Bye. Now I'm just going to eat. Bye.